So I just made up for interesting, you know, little theme for us, y'all. So today is Wednesday, right? And y'all know we get new music Thursday night, Friday, and things of that nature. So look, every Wednesday is uh, unreleased music. No. Yeah, yeah. Unreleased music day for us. Well, I'm going to figure out a name, but it's like, it's like the time of the week where we listen to unreleased music, basically. Okay? We're going to listen to two unreleased music every Wednesday. So make sure y'all comment down below. Come back here every Wednesday. Now, we're going to do different artists every Wednesday. Though. We're not going to keep doing the same artists, but I picked out two unreleased songs that we're going to do this Wednesday. The Kill or Roy, and I think it's a Juice World song that I also picked as well. You feel me? I'm going to mention that on my Juice World reaction video as well, too. Just in case y'all don't catch this one. But every Wednesday, we're going to listen to two unreleased music. You feel me? From any artist y'all want, but it got to be a different artist every Wednesday, you know? And it can't be the same artist. Y'all get what I'm saying. You feel me? So leave, leave a like on this video right now. Let's get 2,000 likes on this video. Um, comment down below what song y'all want me to check out next. The most liked comment is the one that we're going to check out together. Okay, and y'all let me know what y'all think about the idea, man. You feel me? I feel like we should start doing more of these. I'm going to bring out the Aux Battles back again. The Aux Battles will be coming back soon. Uh, I just need somebody to create them for me. So if y'all want to create any Aux Battles for me, hit me up on IG or my email. Everything is in the description. Um, so yeah. And also, the Killer Roy will be dropping a new song I seen uh, tomorrow night, man. So we definitely going to be one of the first ones to... Uh, Check it out for sure, for sure. The Killer Words dropping new music Thursday night, man. I seen a, I seen a picture that he posted, threw me off completely. You feel me? I know it was a Photoshop, but that shit threw me off all the way, bro. I'm just like, bro, what is going on, bro? I'm like, the facial hair on his face looks so real, though. That's the thing that caught me off guard. And then, like, the plastic surgery from his girl look real because that's how females look in 2023, bro. You feel me? And then a lot of these females were great. We're going to talk about that when that song comes out, man. But anyway, the Killer Roy Broken Hearts unreleased song. Let's see what's going on with this track right here. Never heard the snippet before. Never heard nothing of it. So let's see what's going on with this. <laughs> from his younger days to now him being like a mature grown up now bro like it's crazy to see the 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 the, 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 the growth of the killer word from when he was i think the first time i heard of the word i think he was 15 and it's just like the growth like i don't know like his his voice is to me is just like st still good though bro amazing he got an amazing voice when it comes to his singing, bro. Amazing. I think that's why I, I, I love his melodic song so much, even though I love when he can rap. But he just got he just got the voice when you know when he's singing in his bag, he just got it, bro. And then with the but but at the same time, I feel like he needs to have a good beat. I feel like the producer have to do well with his voice as well. If you get what I'm saying. Like the the production of the song gotta match the tone. You feel me? Of his voice and things of that nature. You know, but he, he just got a perfect voice in my opinion, bro.
made this connection to this song because I seen a post from one of my uh my homies, right? And the post was like, like basically, this goes for girls and guys, bro. I feel like a relationship right now is probably the biggest reason why a lot of people are the way they are, you know? So I say that to say this. Before you get into a relationship, before you even try to commit yourself to a serious relationship, make sure you yourself is one healed. Meaning, you're not going to a female or a guy to intentionally mess them up. You get what I'm saying? Or, or, or play with them or play with their heart. You know, make sure, one, you you know yourself well enough so when you get to a relationship or you try to get to a relationship, you know what you're looking for. You know, I feel like time and time again, a lot of people don't know what they want. So they they get, so it's easy for them to get into a relationship or easily for them to fall in love with somebody. You know, because they don't know themselves well enough or they don't know what they want or they don't know what they attract. So I say that to say this. Don't get into a relationship not knowing what you want and not knowing who you are as a person. You know, I feel like that's the biggest thing in life right now. And I'm seeing that time and time again. A lot of people just get into a relationship, one, because they're scared to be alone um, and scared to be by themselves, you feel me? But I feel like at this point in life, it's okay to be by yourself, you know? You don't have to worry about another human being. And I feel like that's one of the biggest things in life, to worry about another, another human being is... You know, it, it, it definitely, it comes with a lot. So I, I say that to say that, like, you know, know yourself. You know what I'm saying? Know yourself before you get into a relationship. Heal before you get into a relationship. Take some time to yourself. Take some alone time. All of that is going to make you, you know, ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to know when, you're not going to know when you're ready until you're ready. You feel me? So I'm not saying put a put a time schedule on it, but heal before you get into a relationship, man. Because you... Playing with somebody is that's not okay, bro. You feel me? So he definitely sing from his soul, bro. For a fact, for a fact, man. And I feel like Le I feel like Leroy could do music like this because he been through he been through a lot, you know. Like music is all about you know experiences, art. You feel me? So if you if you've been through a lot, you, you could probably put it on pen and paper and really you know tell your story, man. You feel me? But that's just that's just that's how I see it, man. But y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feeling, man. Um. And like I said, make sure y'all comment down below what song y'all want me to check out next for next week episode of Unreleased Wednesdays. I think that's what I'm going to call it, Unreleased Wednesdays. Yo, if you made it this far, comment Unreleased Wednesdays and comment your song right now if you made it this far in this video. Comment Unreleased Wednesdays and comment the song y'all want me to check out next, man. It's your boy DJ, man. Play out.